make sure to like the video, subscribe and press the bell icon. Currency Exchanger in JavaScript Hello dear friends, in this tutorial you will learn how to make this awesome currency exchange converter. By using this program you can convert any currency of the world to each other in a second. Now let's see how it works. First of all we have to enter the amount so in this example I want to convert $100 to Euro. I type 100 in amount section after that we have to select from which currency you want to convert to which. So from this list I select USD. And because I want to convert it to Euro I choose Euro from this list. One thing you notice when I select a currency from the list the flag with automaticity change to that country flag. Now I just need to click this button and it converts the currency for me. As you can see my $100 is equal to 102.39 euro. Let me convert something else. So this time I want to convert PKR to Afghani. From the first list I choose PKR. And from the second list I select Afghani. I write the amount 1000. And press the exchange. And as you can see it converted it for me. One more thing I have to remind you guys is as always this program is completely responsive and works just fine in mobile devices. I'm sure you guys learned how it works. Now let me show you step by step how to make this awesome program. This is our project folder and inside it we have these four files. We will talk about each file in a moment. Let's start from the first file index.html. Inside this file we have the basic HTML5 structure. We have imported our style.css file. And also we have imported the font awesome library. Inside the body we have our program structure. So this is our header. The amount area. The convert from. Which inside it we have select box and image of country flag. This is section for convert to which inside it we have select box and image of country flag. This section is for result. And also a button and a footer. After that at the bottom of the code we have linked our country list.js and script.js. That is all in our HTML file. Our second file is style.css. Inside this file first of all we imported the Google font library. After that we applied basic design to our page and set the font family to this. We also applied some design to our body. We used flex for our page and justify and align our contents and item to center of the page. We also applied this linear background color. After that we applied color and background to our selections. And this is our wrapper which our program is inside it. We set a width, padding, border, background color and box shadow for it. We applied style for our header and also applied margin for our form. After that we selected input, select and button from form by using this where. And applied width to 100%, we removed the outline and set a border radius and we also removed the border by setting the border to none. We select paragraph from the form and set font size to 18px and some margin to the bottom. We selected input from the form and applied height, font size padding and border to it. After that if we focus into input we apply this design. This is some design for our drop list and some design for our select box. We set max width for our image and also apply some design to our select from select box. This three section is for scroll bar of our selection list. First we select our select from select box and by using WebKit we select scroll bar and apply width to it. We also set a background color to scroll bar track and some design for scroll bar thumb. After that we select icon and set cursor to pointer and some margin and font size to 22px. Select exchange rate from the form and we apply this design to it. 
We select bottom from the form and apply this design and also if button is hover we change background color and in button section we add transition so it makes a nice animation while hovering. After that we apply this design to footer. At the button of the code we used at media max and inside it we changed the width of wrapper to 370px if our screen is similar than 700px. And we also changed the select box width and height. So that's how our program become responsive. That's all in style.css my friends. This is countrylist.js. Inside this file we have variable of country list and inside it there is an object of country list codes. Which we use them in our script.js. The script.js which is the most important file in this program let's open it and see inside. So inside our script.js first of all we select our elements by using query selectors and put them inside variables. After that we make a for loop which is used to import it all the country codes into our HTML select boxes. So inside the for loop we use variable of i and equal that to zero. After that if i is smaller than drop list length we add. So it stops whenever our drop list is no more bigger than i. After that we use another for, for our currency code in country list. This section of code is for we select USD by default as from currency and AFN as to currency. After that creating option tag with passing currency code as a text and value to it. And after that inserting options tag inside select tag and that's how our list from country list object goes to our select options. We use an event listener of change in our drop list and it call load flag function with passing target element as an argument to change the flag image as currency we selected. This is load flag function with element as parameter. Inside this function we used for loop. In this for loop we used code in country list and if currency code of country list is equal to option value it selects image tag of particular drop list. After that we pass country code of a selected currency code in image URL. That's how our flag is change. After that we used event listener on window load that means whenever our program is load it runs this get exchange rate function. This is event listener of click for our button which first we preventing form from submitting. And after that it runs get exchange rate function. This section of code is for reversing the currencies if we click on exchange icon. First we select icon from the form by using query selector and put it inside exchange icon variable. After that we add an event listener of click on exchange icon. First we temporary we put the form currency value inside this temp code variable. After that we pass to currency code to from currency code. Then we pass to currency value to temp code temporary. And after that we run load flag with passing select element, from currency, of from. And we are also calling load flag with passing select element, to currency, of to. And at the end we call get exchange rate function that's how our program reverse the exchange. This is the most important function in this code. The get exchange rate function which inside it first of all we select input from the form by using query selector and put it inside amount variable. We also select exchange rate and put it inside exchange rate text variable. We get the amount value and put it inside amount val variable. After that we check if user don't enter any value or enter zero then we'll put one value by default in the input field. We set the exchange rate text to this by using inner text. And after that we put the API URL. To make your API key. To make your API key first of all. Go to this website register and once you registered it sends you a confirmation email and after that once you log in the website give you an API key just copy that. And come back to your code and pass that API key here. After that at the end of URL we put the value of from currency. So the API understands which currency you selected and it responds to that. 
After that we are fetching API response and returning it with parsing into JS object and in another then method receiving that object. In this section we are getting user selected TO currency rate. And after that we multiplying user entered value with selected TO currency rate. And at the end we select exchange rate text and by using inner text we put this value which is the amount value. From currency value which is the currency we want to convert from name. And equal to total exchange rate which is the converted amount of our from input. And to currency name. And finally if user is offline or any other error occurred while fetching data then catch function will run which display this text. And that's all my friends I hope you learned something if you have any question let me know in the comment below. If you like this video make sure you like, subscribe and press the bell icon. Have a great time.